So today we're going to be doing one final test and that is for these Nocta fans. So we did mention in the other video that we had new fans and these were the Nocta 4 pin. So this one is actually 3 pin if you can see under there. But we need one that is 4 pin like this one. So we ordered them and today we're going to be testing. I don't think it's going to do too much for the heat necessarily, but we're going to be testing the decibels on it as well. So we can verify you know that it is quieter but we're also going to be testing some overclocks with it as well we're going to be doing it on i believe the supra today also the lcd screen has gone off this and i don't know why we might have to get a replacement for that so finally we need to take this off the rig and we need to put the nocta fans on it so we're going to be testing this fan versus the nocta fan in terms of the decibels so we'll take a reading of that currently we'll turn these two off so these two off and we'll only have that one on and then we'll take a reading after the fact with the nocta fans and we'll also take hash rate readings from this with these new heat sinks that we have here so let's take it off the rig let's take a reading and we'll discuss the reading after we've taken it and then we'll put on the new four pin fan so we've taken this off the rig as you can see there and that is the Supra. And I want to wait and I want to make one thing sure that when you are ordering these fans, because I did make a mistake last time, you want to get the NFA4 times 20 V5. So it's important that it's V5 for these boards at least. But it's also important to have PWM on the end because that gives you the utilization of the four pins instead of the three pins, which normally come with the normal fans. And that gives you temperature control on the actual axe os or to interface with the bit axe as well so it's kind of the same as the other one that we saw that is sitting on the max currently if we open this up you can see same size and it's basically the exact same thing but four pins instead of three so we're gonna get this out of the box and then we're gonna fit it on to here so as you can see there, we have the two fans. So sitting side by side, and let's just move that there. So you have the two fans, and then we have our Supra there. Let's get a good shot of that. So as you can see there, we have the fan fitted on, and we're gonna take a decibel reading again. And we just plugged it in, so we've taken these off so we can get an accurate decibel reading, and then we're going to just flash it up on the screen, discuss them, and then we'll look at overclocking. I don't think it's going to do much for overclocking, but we'll see how it goes after that. As you can see there, the four pins is in there and should be up and running soon. So let's get over to the computer. So as we can see here, we are on the Axe OS. And when you're looking here, you can kind of see already 50 degrees is what the temperature is at, but the fan speed is very low. Now, I did say that we took decibel readings, so we can see this here. This was before, and it was around 37.4 decibels. On average, it was around 38. And then when we measured it after the fact, we only had it at 30 decibels. And this was the same RPM in terms of the percentage on the XOS. So a noticeable drop in the decibels for with and without the Nocta fan. So as you can see, it hasn't actually done much. This is the figures from before that we took for yesterday's video. And that was 14.9 in terms of the watts, whereas for the watts here, you have 15.2. So I think the fans pull in more watts. And the heat was 46. And the heat currently is around 51. Now, granted, they are at different RPM speeds, but I believe that the Nocta fan only goes up to 5,000 RPM. So at 63%, that is around, I think the base fans can do 10,000 RPM, but this seems to do better if we weight it based off how much RPM it's pulling to the heat that is dissipating. And we're at the same overclocks. So what I mean by that is if you were at 100% and this one was at 5,000, I think we'd see a lot more heat there compared to this one at 5,000. I know it's got a better airflow. Um, I know it's got a better airflow in terms of cubic meters so as i said it hasn't really made that much of a difference because nocta fans or these ones only go up to 5000 rpm i didn't really expect much of a difference 
but it definitely has been quieter so that's always good when you're you know wanting to have something sleek that doesn't make too much noise you know the main thing with a6 big ones at least with bitmain is they're very very loud and if you can get that down then it makes it a lot bearable and you can put these miners kind of anywhere around the house so obviously you have the base fan and that can go to 10,000 rpm i believe these ones only go up to 5,000 rpm but in terms of the airflow i believe their airflow is better at 5,000 rpm than the base fans that you normally get there are a bunch of other fans that you can get and a lot of suppliers use different types of fans normally they're pretty cheap nocta ones are around 13 dollars but there are some other versions that i believe just from doing a little bit of research where you could actually use on the bit axe and maybe we'll order some and see if they're any better so as it says 5000 rpm for the nocta fans we do have these ones from arctic so you might know them as the people that also make thermal paste so you can see here this is the s4028 15k which is a 40 millimeter fan and it's 15,000 rpm now we're not going to say that it's necessarily going to be silent but it is going to produce way more rpm than even the base fans that you can get which means that there's more airflow that you can take away if we scroll down here you can see a maximum airflow of 32 meters squared whereas with the nocta fan the airflow is only around 9.4 meters squared so this is the 15,000 version but they also have a 6,000 rpm version which is kind of comparable to the nocta fan and that maximum airflow is around 12 meters squared whereas if we go back it's 9.4 for the nocta fan so this could be our next test is to test the two of them against each other or even test this one against the base fans I know it's not necessarily going to be any quieter but it might be better airflow it also has this four pin so you can actually control the fan on pmw control so that's always good so we're going to order some of them we're going to stick them onto some of them hopefully they come very quickly and we'll make an updated video when they actually come through as you can see hash rate hasn't even changed here it was 634 but that just goes up and down up and down up and down efficiency is slightly lower but the watts are higher overall and when we're actually looking at this now the hash rate is way more stable now that we have the nocta fans on there i don't really know how that is possible but that's what we have here so this was just a quick video just to test it out compare the two in my personal opinion if you want silence in terms of running the bit axe then go for a nocta fan if not just use the standard fan and also stick around for more videos coming on this we're going to test both the 15,000 RPM server fan and this 6,000 one as well and see how comparable they are because I haven't seen many people overclock or at least put these onto the bit axe. I know a lot of people put Nocta fans because they're more silent but I haven't seen these too much so we're going to do an experiment with these and we'll obviously keep you updated in the videos. Let me know any other things that you want to see or if you have any other fan suggestions that we can actually buy and stick on there. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.